Greetings everyone, Ed San here. What I've got here is what I'm calling a jigsaw tag. And it's got one of Tim Holt's vintage people centred in the middle. And it's got all these different pieces like jigsaw around the outside that have got different uh, patterns on them, different colours. So I'll just pop it over there and show you how I did it. I'm going to need two pieces of card about the same size and an image for the middle. It can be a person, it could be a heart, it could be an angel, whatever you want it to be. I'm going to use this little boy. Place him down in the middle approximately and then just trace around the outside with a pencil. Okay, and when I've done that, I'm going to cut that out. I'm only going to make one cut into the pencil line and then go all the way around. And there's a reason for this, which you'll see in a sec. So I'm going to go in like that to the pencil line. And then let's go around the edge. Which would be very tedious for you to watch. So I hope when Head Office edits this video that she's kind enough to fast forward through this bit so it's not so painfully boring for you to sit through. Nearly there. Good. Okay. So this piece, you can discard it because we won't be using that piece. And this is the piece that we're going to use. Now we've already got one cut in it, we're going to make some more, but before we do that I want you to make sure which, which is the front, so just slot your board or your picture back in. That's the front, so I'm going to turn it over onto the back, and with my pencil I'm just going to draw lots of arrows on it, so that wherever I cut the pieces it's bound to have an arrow on it somewhere, and I'll, I'll know which way is the right way up. Because believe me, once you start doing these, it, it's very easy to lose track of which ways up and down. So, okay, we've got arrows on the on the back. I'm going to get a pair of scissors and I'm going to chop it into maybe seven or eight pieces. So I have one there. This is this using this one as our first cut. I have one there. And there. There's something sticky on my scissors. Use these other ones. And there. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, the next thing to do is to colour the pieces. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe. And just dab it on the pad. Make sure I've got the right side. Oh, I better put it down a sheet because they always make a mess. It's a grotty piece I've used before. That will do. Just colour them. Like that. That's one. Maybe two that colour. And different colour. It's a different piece of the baby wipe. So, 
Maybe there. Now this colour doesn't show up very well unless you get plenty on so for this one I'm just going to spray some water on the piece, just dab off the excess and then place it directly on the pad. And that way I'll get a good coverage hopefully. Same again, last piece. Good. All right, we've done them now. The next thing to do is to put the patterns on. So I've got eight different stamps here. And we use contrasting colours to put the stamps on. So use that one. I'll put some colour on the stamp. This is a script, so I need to have this the right way up, and that's where the arrows come in. So I'll put some ink on. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I know which way is up. There we go. That's two. kind of a wood grain one. I'm not bothered that I'm getting the backs full of my inky fingers because they're going to be glued down. This is a script again. That way's up. That one. This is just dots, so it doesn't matter which way up it goes. but not least another script one and that's the right way up 
Okay, so they've all got a different pattern on and they've all been coloured and I've made a big mess. But I always do, so we won't worry about that. Right, uh, next thing to do is to uh, prepare the other piece of card and we'll you know, just run around the edge of the image, the boy in this case, with a little bit of um, archival ink just to give him a more definite outline and then I'm going to put some glue on Stick it back in the middle. Okay. One thing that I meant to do first, sorry, don't mind me. Uh, I learned from my mistakes that it's a good idea to put a little bit of colour behind the, the image just in case you have any white showing through when you've finished. So that's covered that and we'll pop him down now. Right. I want to go around the edge of all the pieces as well, just to give them an outline. Which again is a bit tedious for you, so bear with me. Nearly there. It's time to do the jigsaw. So I'll glue at the ready and again this is where the arrows come in because you know which is the right way up. Might start with where's that piece from? Yep. See how hard it is there? That's where that piece is from. Glue's having a bit of a turn. There you go. So that piece goes there. And then where are we? I think that's the next piece. Piece goes there. Then that piece is next. There. This goes there. 
Mud paste. I was inspired to make this by a picture I saw on Pinterest of something somebody had made in, in terracotta and I thought oh, I might be able to do that with paper and card. There we go, the last piece. Now, as you can see I have got a line around the man which if I hadn't coloured would have stuck out uh, more because it would have been white. Now I'm just going to take this to my uh, trimmer and just trim it up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to put the corners on of the tag. Like that. And then just go around the whole of the outside with a little bit of archival ink again. There we have it. The jigsaw tag. Here's some others I made previously. I did this one with the lady in, as you saw at the beginning. This one's got a kind of fairy in there. And another one of Tim Holt's people, that's a ballerina. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.